Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and if you're here for the first time, this channel is all about fashion, all about trends and all about being a little bit more sustainable when we come to trends and actually go being fashion forward but still loving the planet. My year is usually divided into four sections, two of which are the spring, summer, fall, winter trends. I take a look at the runways and I kind of dissect everything and shoot out a bunch of trend videos. And the other half is two sections of videos where I try out those trends and maybe try to recreate some of the runway looks. So today in this video, we're going to be recreating Alta Zara fashion show or the feelings that I got when I was watching this show was very boho meets the city kind of a vibe. I really loved all of the crochet little details that were there and normally I don't buy anything, I don't do anything. This time around I cheated. Yes I did. I actually made two things or maybe three three things, two of them particularly exactly for this show, like for this video. And the other one I made previously, so that doesn't count. So let's just talk a little bit more about the show itself. In the Vogue website, there is a little coverage on it, which I'm gonna read just a little section. Altazar said he looked at the treasured book, Charles Freger's Wilder Man, and his photographs of pagan rituals and celebrations of spring, of inspiration. I responded to the idea of finding magic and wonder and myth in nature. In our everyday life, we get bogged down by details and minutia, said Altazara. What made this collection so compelling was the way he merged everyday relatability with magical hand-rendered touches. The aforementioned shibori knits the crochet paneling he added to his sharp tailoring so definitely this whimsical details a little bit folk a little bit uh, boho and once again meets the city the everyday kind of a life so the first one that I was really drawn to was those paneling on the blazer. But instead of that, I wanted to make something that I could reuse in many different outfits. So this is the first outfit that I tried to go for. It's a white suit with those crochet paneling and a little bit of fringe and little tassels here and there. Of course, I don't have everything. And instead of that, I decided to flip it. I have made this white crochet kind of a cover or maybe a little top even. And I put it over my black button up shirt and I wore some wider leg trousers. As you can see, I'm trying to recreate the makeup and the hair of the show, which is was mainly either down or models had these two little braids at the front, which I loved the idea. I have really long hair and sometimes it gets in the way, but with this two little braids, it's kind of like a little bit more manageable. The eyes were very smoky and I love it. So here we go. Love this would definitely wear it maybe to an office maybe to i don't know something else but yes i'm wearing a little bit of an espadrille here with the wider leg pant and here's some close-up of what the knit looks like if i were to remake the knit i would make it out of thinner yarn which would make it a little bit more daintier less voluminous but I like it nevertheless. All right, so let's move on to another look. This time I'm going for kind of what I was previously wearing, but this time we kind of have a dress underneath, a crochet type of a bodice of some sort and a neck decoration. <laughs> and of course, I decided to keep my handmade, self-made top, but instead, I just put this this tie-dye dress underneath, keeping the pants just because the the model had the dress pretty long and there was some pairing of dresses and trousers around the runways, so I decided to do it like that. I feel like this is a really cool look. I would go somewhere in the summer. Maybe I would switch up the trousers for something a little bit 
lighter and if I had like a palazzo black pant that would be perfect or maybe just another maxi skirt underneath of that but I love it so much um, market a beach getaway kind of thing love it would definitely wear it still wearing the espadrilles and still having the makeup the same way I feel so free and boho <laughs> all right so the next outfit once again we see the tie dye or maybe it's a different kind of kind of dye but we have this tie dyed skirt and a long sleeve top with a bralette over that with like a few stripes so here we go i have this dress that's a little bit too small for me but who is counting anyways it had this very cool tie-dye bottom to it and i was like it's meant to be so i've made this bralette myself also crochet and i love it i honestly beach time for sure uh where else would i wear it also to a market probably i just love the the whole thing the braids are so cute the smoky eye makes it a little bit more sophisticated and not just like oh <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know what this is i paired it with a kind of a straw bag and again the espadrille shoes i feel like they belong there there was lots of furry shoes on the runway but i don't really go for furry on my foot unless i'm wearing a sock um and yes so here we go moving on to the next one all right so we have this kind of a knit set paired with a blazer all almost monochromatic with a little belt see those furry shoes no we're not gonna have any of those here we go this is what i have i have a knitted set but it's a little bit different it's not like a cardigan um i put a belt around it with like a little bit of metal details in there and i put a white blazer over top i think i have the same espadrille shoes and a little black bag it's not as colorful but just looking at the runway this was what inspired me to do it you don't have to have exactly the same things in exactly the same color you can take inspiration from the runways and just try to recreate it if you can of course sometimes if i'm doing these recreations and i'm like missing one thing i might go and buy it and then i have so many ways of styling that one item that i already know how to style it if you're enjoying this content so far and you would like to support me and my channel all you need to do is hit that like button maybe write down a little nice comment down below and if you're not ready subscribe <laughs> thanks let's move on to the next outfit and it is a kind of a bralette paired with a gray suit with some necklace thing here so i got my trusty thrifted men's suit i love it love it so much anyways i paired it with a bra underneath it's a little bit transparent action but it has like more stuff on the nipples so i'm not afraid about that i put on the espadrille shoes just because they fit so well with that kind of a bohemian vibe and i have this really big statement piece jewelry on my neck it has like pom-poms and like a few different colors but i think just because this whole entire outfit is very like plain and monochromatic that a little bit of color here is fine like i said you can't really find the exact copy in your closet so might as well just substitute it with something else all right so the next outfit that i went for is this very nice and flowing white pants and a shirt but i didn't have it all in white so i decided to pair it with this kind of a lavender type of pant don't tell me that it's not there because there was a full lavender coat on the runway so i decided to it's okay it's okay so i have these lavender pants and i've paired it with a crop top but it was sleeveless but i wanted to have some sleeve so i added this kind of a cover up a little bit like a sweat shirt but only sleeves and i love it like perfect for a nice summer evening maybe you were walking around and it was all hot and now it's a little bit chilly so you just put those sleeves over top and you're golden i'm still wearing the same exact espadrille shoes and it's okay i'm loving it the braids are like giving me life and here we go 
would definitely wear it any occasion honestly yes summer outfit this is one of the best ones and i feel so comfortable with my arms hidden a little bit moving on to the next outfit here we go we see on the runways pa pants paired with a kind of a dress shirt shirt dress with a belt so i didn't have all of that in the same color i had that in all the same color so lavender is back here or corcus petal and i just put my dress shirt like on off of one shoulder belted it with just a simple belt had that same pair of palazzo pants hopefully i'm pronouncing it right maybe it's some completely other word but that's all right i still have my espadrille shoes that are tying in this little little laid back boho feel I should have a drinking game with how many times I say boho in this video, everybody have a shot, or maybe not. <laughs> I really love this outfit, very flowy, very casual, very summer-esque. You could also have maybe that crop top underneath it and kind of have the shirt more closer to the evening or maybe to hide from the sun. Um, yeah, anyways, love it, would definitely wear it. So the next outfit that I tried to go for was this all white pants with kind of a dress over top and there was some sort of a cropped knit which is I'm not sure how it worked in real life but here's what happened here. So I kept the same pants, I've put this dress, kind of a summer white dress on top and I didn't button it up. I felt like it created way more volume and way more interest and on top of that just because I really don't like how it looks like on the shoulder the, the straps are too thin I've put my knitted item this is another thing that I've made and I love it um, it's basically like a long 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 scarf that I kind of wrapped around and sewn a little bit here so there's not going to be any accidental war wardrobe malfunctions so here we are i've also added these a very large boho kind of a feathered out earring and i feel like this is another great summer outfit that i would totally wear to a beach or maybe like a little picnic uh with uh few friends so here is another outfit i tried to recreate and it is more like a robe style coat once again with a wider leg pant and there are some earrings uh, pretty much that's all that we could see from that on the runways so here is what i came up with i have this like the best my number one thrifted item that i just love and i wear constantly this nice wool coat all like very long not to the floor exactly but still so I kind of uh, put up the lapels and tied around my waist with a belt kept my my a wider leg pants just because those are the lightest ones that I own and kept the same earrings just to have something interesting in there I like it maybe it's a little bit too warm for a summer day but maybe it will work out for some spring evening I don't know would I wear this sure if I would have an occasion to but it's not one of my most favorite outfits out of this video but still it feels very classy it feels very boho at the same time which is an interesting combination and i love it not as much but still love it all right you guys we have come to an end and i'm super duper looking forward to reading down in the comments below which one was your favorite recreation another thing that you can comment down below is what do you think would be the next runway show that I would be recreating. A little hint, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> There's gonna be like two dead giveaways. So looking forward to reading those down below. All right, you guys, thank you very much for watching this to the end. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. And if you'd like to show me some love, I would love to read your comments down below and see those hearts popping up 
<laughs> I'm looking forward to releasing another one of these videos and uh, the New York Fashion Week has already gone by so I'm almost at the time where I'm collecting all of the new trend reports and this is gonna be super intense time for me so if you are not seeing me on YouTube every single week it's probably because of that if you would like to know when my videos are uploaded you can hit that little bell icon or go follow me on Instagram and usually I post something up there when I have a video live thank you very much for watching hope you have a great day and yeah stay classy bye